I'm Jerry Mowney. I am the General Manager at Signature Homes. We are here at a show home of ours, a consultant, uh, energy performance consultant, Prairie House. They are here to do a blower door test today. Let us know how our uh, show home is gonna perform for the comfort of our clients. We work with Prairie House right from the beginning of our drawing period. Um, we are looking at the orientation of the lot, uh, heat loads, uh, window and glazing sizes, our heating and cooling appliances, and insulation methods. Uh, we are trying to create the most comfortable home through air tightness and insulation possible for each house. All registered EcoSmart Signature Homes are gone through the process uh, with Prairie House Consultants and Efficiency Manitoba. We are trying to build a um, tighter, more efficient, uh, more comfortable home for clients that are going to save the money uh, monthly on their bills and be environmentally conscious. Hi, my name is Nick Witoski. I'm an energy advisor with Prairie House Performance here in Manitoba. Uh, we're working with Signature Homes to do a blower door test on their house. This is what the setup looks like. Blower door testing is a way to measure the air tightness of the house. What the fan does is it depressurizes the house and forces air in through all the different leaks that the house experiences. And this could be things like windows, outlets, different areas of the house that we then go and explore and try and find and uh, seal. Air tightness is a measure of heat loss, so it's looking at how hard your heating and cooling systems have to work to make up for the fact of all the air escaping through the walls and different penetrations of the house. The result that we're looking for uh, is ideally under one air changes per hour. Air changes per hour is the metric that we use to understand heat loss in the home. Most Manitoba homes are landing around one to 1.5 air changes per hour. So anything below one is considered a, a relatively good build and, and something that we're hoping for today. We have no idea what the results are gonna be today. So what we're gonna do is we start up the fan, uh, we depressurize the house and we take several different uh, pressure point measurements of the house. And from that, we're able to uh, correlate everything to a metric called air changes per hour. Every house experiences leaks. This is something that's gonna happen no matter how old or new the house is. What we're hoping to do is to reduce that wherever possible. So when we do the blower door test, we're gonna walk around to the different windows and outlets and things like that and try and see if we can find any points where air is coming in. And at that point, it gives Signature Homes an opportunity to seal those and to improve the tightness of the house. This is the blower door setup. So what we do is we put this uh, frame in, in the doorway with the red tarp, which completely seals the entrance. And the fan is in the bottom here. The fan has several different uh, opening sizes and that directs the amount of air that the fan is pulling out of the house. Over here, we've got this gauge. And what this does is it reads and measures uh, different pressure points that the house and the fan is experiencing as we're collecting that data through the test. The different cords, one goes outdoors, the other one is inside, and it's measuring the different pressure. Uh, what we're looking at is the flow rate of air going through the fan to meet pressure points. And from that, we get a data uh, to give us a score in air changes per hour. We have an app on our phone that will record the uh, different pressure points and give us an instantaneous result of the test. Uh, the first thing that happens is we get a baseline pressure with the fan completely sealed. And then at that point, we open up the fan and try and meet the pressure points that we're looking at. Uh, the pressure is in a measurement called Pascal's. So what we're aiming for is to start at minus 50 Pascal's because we're depressurizing the house, so it'll be a negative number. And then we work in five pressure point intervals down to minus 15. And at that point, we will have the uh, full data to give us the, the score for the blower door test. Assuming the test goes quickly, uh, it could be anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes factors like wind and different pressures on the house will uh, create challenges and we have to redo the test uh, a couple times to get a good result. Um, what we're looking for is a clear data set that has a, a strong correlation point and we can use that as a, a level of confidence for the air tightness of the house. Uh, there's several different ways to tell where there's leaks. 
when we're depressurizing the house, uh, one of the easiest ways mm -hmm. is just to do a walk around of the house. So you put your hands against uh, windows, doors, outlets on the exterior walls, things like plumbing uh, traps and uh, different areas where wall connections occur. Um, at that point, if you can feel air coming in, yeah. you know that the air is finding its way somewhere through that air barrier on the envelope, the exterior of the building. Um, other ways we look at it is we can use things like smoke pencils that direct air either in or out of the house from those uh, air leakage points. Is that or good? in winter time, uh, what we can use is thermal imaging. And thermal imaging, you know, as we walk through the exterior mm -hmm. walls and the different studs and insulation points, we can see cold spots. And we know if everything's been insulated, if there's a cold spot there, it's likely happening due to uh, heat loss through that, that area. We've collected our first data point at minus 50 pascals, and we did that on what we call the B-ring. So the B-ring has a slightly wider opening that allows air to come through. So the amount of air pressure against the fan is going to give you the pascal reading that we're looking for. Now we have to reduce the size of the ring. So as we go to a lower pressure point, uh, there's too much air coming through, and we need to funnel it to get the the correct pressure. Usually this is a sign, depending on the size of the house, that uh, that it'll perform well. What we're looking for is the smallest ring possible. So we're all done our test. Uh, we had to run the fan at a couple different levels of ring sizes and we have our results. So what we were aiming for is a score better than one air change per hour, which is kind of the ideal standard for houses that we're building in Manitoba. And the score that we got was 0 0.52 air changes per hour. So that, you know, at a high level, that says that Signature Homes has done a really good attention to detail on the envelope of their building and air sealing all of the spaces that might lead to things like extra heat loss or comfort or durability issues in the home. And they've, they've done a really good job of, of uh, working to solve those issues that, that homes experience. So a score of 0.52 uh, air changes per hour, which is what we got today. Uh, what that means to the homeowner is they're coming into a home where uh, they're not gonna deal with uh, anywhere near the amount of moisture or comfort issues that you would get from older, leakier houses. Um, it means a house that's going to be more durable, um, it's going to be more energy efficient, uh, and all of these things just improve the quality of life uh, that the homeowner experiences when they're, they're in their home. So to explain a little bit more, if you ever wonder why you put coffee into a mug and it's warm six hours later, a house is pretty similar. You can opt to put your hot coffee into a ceramic mug, uh, which all the heat is gonna leak out the top. Uh, so what we're trying to do with our houses is insulate it well, just like a Yeti cup. Uh, the blower door test that we were doing today um, is going to test for that insulation but at the same time it's going to test for heat leakage. So if your lid is popped off, we're going to get leaks. If your lid is open, you're gonna get leaks. So what the blower door test is doing, it's making sure that we're well insulated and that we're also airtight. So that way when you're pumping either heat or cooling into your home, it stays in there. And that's exactly what a Yeti cup does. And that's exactly what everyone wants out of their coffee every morning. And that's how we want our customers to live with comfort, great air quality, and no leakages in any of their rooms or any parts of their house. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Winnie with Signature Homes. If you'd like more information on our EcoSmart program, where we are carefully crafted custom homes every single day to make sure that they're energy efficient uh, and comfortable for homeowners, please visit our website at www.signaturehomes.ca.